All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, but I wanna see if you guys will be interested in, in this type of content on my channel. So um, I have uh, Shine Armor sent me out some supplies to, for a, a waterless um, spray. So I'm gonna try that out on my hood, along with uh, Chemical Guys Eco Smart uh, Waterless uh, wash and wax. So I'm gonna compare the two and see which one I like. I've always used uh, Chemical Guys in the past, and uh, I want to try out the Shine Armor and see see exactly um, which one works best for me. So what I'll do is I'm in, I'm going to tape off half the hood, do this one complete side Shine Armor, and then do this one complete side here uh, with the Chemical Guys product. So um, here in just a minute, we're gonna lay us a nice nice little straight piece. Um, uh, spray the product on each side I'm gonna get some water and see how it beads off and see how it works and then uh, I'll pull the car out in the driveway as you can see my driveway has like a nice little hill so I wasn't gonna be able to get the best you know bead or runoff so I'm gonna do it here in the garage pour a little bit of water on each side and then we'll go from there all right guys so as you can see here here is the box that we got from shine armor so I'll open it up we got um, one Two, hey, I'm gonna really pack this thing. Two, three, four. We got four cloths to come with it. All right, so here you have it. Here is the actual Shine Armor, um, what you call it, waterless wash, shine, and protect. So this is what they sent. So let's see exactly what the inst instructions say. All right, so the instructions say spray onto clean, damp microfiber cloth and onto the servers you are cleaning. Gently wipe the surface with the first pre-wetted folded microfiber cloth. Quickly switch to a clean folded dry microfiber cloth and before remaining haze before it dries. Repeat this process until the entire vehicle is clean, streak free and ultra glossy. Safe to use on glass, paint, metal and plastic. So this is going to be the first, um, first product we're going to use. Shine Armor. It's a, nice, it's a nice little size bottle. I don't really know how many ounces it is but yeah so we're going to definitely Definitely give uh, Shine Armor a try. And so in the package, I got two, two of the Shine Armor uh, bottles, and then we get two, two of the sprayers, and then, like I showed, we got four actual microfiber cloths. Alrighty, so the second contestant that we're gonna be using is the Chemical Guys Eco Smart RU Waterless Wash and Wax. Cleans, shines, and protects. I've used this product uh, before in the past, I don't have any complaints about it. I actually really like it. So we're gonna test this against the uh, actual Shine Armor. Let me get the bottle. So we're gonna do Shine Armor against this uh, actual Chemical Guys product. And the directions for this, for best results, use a product in a shaded area, shake well and lightly spray Eco Smart directly on the cool surface using a premium microfiber towel. Gently wipe in one direction to remove the dirt. Once dirt is removed, a light haze of carnival wax will be left on the surface. Buff off Carnuba Haze and use a premium microfiber towel for a high gloss shine. Enjoy a beautiful, clean car. All right, so let's go ahead and get the actual get the actual car taped up so we can do our comparison. And yes, we do wear cutoffs in the summertime in Alabama because it is hot. All right, I know some of you guys are going to have a freaking heyday if I don't rip these tags off the microfiber cloth. So I'm going to tear them all off because I don't want it to scratch my vinyl wrap, but I did have to show you that. So there's proof that I tore the tags off of these and all the tags are torn off of any of the microfiber cloths that I have. All right, so the next step, what we're gonna do is we're going to lay us, we're gonna try our best to lay a, a strip down the middle of the hood. Like so, okay. And we'll just rip that off. All right, so we got us a nice straight piece of tape. And then that's gonna give us our comparison. This side is gonna be Shine Armor, and this side over here is gonna be the uh, Chemical Guys product. All right, so I'm gonna try to show you guys the best. As you can see, there is some contaminants on the, on the actual vinyl wrap itself. So like I said, this side, Chemical Guys, this side is gonna be Shine Armor. So I'm gonna pretty much spray in this vicinity, spray this whole part. Um, of the shine armor first for the first portion of the actual test Okay, so the shine armor is now all shook up. Let's go ahead and apply some of this straight to the area we have All 
get some on the red. Alrighty. So now that we have that applied, let's go ahead and take our take our towels that they supplied to us, fold it in fours. I like to always just rub in one one general direction. All right, so I don't know if you can actually see on camera, but this side is actually, it actually is a lot more glossier than this side because obviously there's nothing applied yet. So it actually is a lot more glossier. So the Shine Armor is applied. Let's go ahead and apply the uh, Eco Smart Waterless uh, Wash and Wax to this side, and then we'll do a little comparison of the two. Give the uh, chemical guys a good shake up, and then let's go ahead and spray it. Make sure we got this thing open, okay. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, just doing like a little comparison, it does look like to me that the actual shine armor is a little bit shinier. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this light off that you guys see and see if we can see a difference in just all natural light. All right guys, so here's what it looks like without my actual garage light on. And to me, I still think that the shine armor does look a little bit more glossier, a little bit more depth into the actual paint. But like I said, that's just my opinion. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get a cup of water and see how uh, the shine armor reacts to it. Uh, as far as, you know, bead and roll off and stuff like that. And then I'll do the exact same thing on the chemical guy's side. All right guys, so um, for this demonstration purpose, I just got a cup of water from the actual kitchen because like I said, my driveway is on a hill and it wouldn't be very well. So let's go ahead and just slowly pour some water and see how the shine armor runs off the car. So far it looks so good. Nice and beady. Okay, so hopefully the camera is picking up on this pretty well. It is definitely hydrophobic, that's for sure. I'm gonna take the camera in one hand and try to pour uh, with the other. All right, so here we go. I'm going to, like I said, try to hold the camera with one hand and pour with the other. Seems to beat off and do its job. As you can see, I'm doing as advertised. So once I get done with doing the, the actual water test on both sides, I'm gonna take the car out in the sun and see what she looks like once I dry it all off. All right, so there was, you know, just one one actual cup of water, and this is what the actual hood looks like as of now. Still have some nice little water beads. The runoff seem to be very good, so I'm definitely impressed with that. Let's go ahead and get a second cup and get on to the uh, Chemical Guys product. All right, guys, on to the second side, which is the Chemical Guys. Hopefully the camera can pick this one up too. Start at the top, come down to the bottom. So they all appear, they both appear to have really good hydrophobic reaction to actual water everything is running off just as it should so once again i'm going to hold the camera one hand and pour with the other right, here we go this is the chemical guy's side uh, the actual chemical guy's side seems to beat off a little faster as you can watch the trails and see how it actually dissipates i think it's i think the hydrophobic is a little bit more on the actual chemical guy side. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna back my car up and go get the garden hose and so we can do a comparison across the top and we can watch them go down the entire hood. All right guys, so here we have my car. It's now set up. Just keep in mind my, my driveway's at incline, so I don't know how well the water's gonna react to this. Yeah, it's all gonna go backwards, of course. What a horrible comparison. So maybe we can do a little demonstration over here. Okay, this is the shine armor. And then here comes the chemical guys. It's not a very good comparison because obviously we're on a hill, but you can see how the water is definitely rolling off. Let's try it more towards the actual front of the hood. Okay. 
water is definitely repelling off like it should on both sides of the hood with both the products. Let me take you guys off the stand, see if we can't see, see anything different here. So there's obviously a lot of freaking light here. So I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but seems to be very hydrophobic. So what I'm gonna do is now take a microfiber cloth, dry off the entire hood, and then see what, see what kind of shine is uh, left behind. So like I mentioned now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this actual piece of tape off and then dry it with my supplied, well not supplied, but one of the microfiber cloths that I have and uh, that I use for detailing. Okay, so right off the bat, you can definitely tell where it was cleaned and where it was not cleaned at, or I should say where the actual line of tape is. You can see a huge difference. You can see, you can see right here, this is where the line is at, all the way up to the top of the hood, down to the bottom. So let's go ahead and get the car dried off and see what the shine looks like on both. All right guys, so we're now back in my garage. Um, you can't really tell a lot of difference in this lighting, but like I said, when I was outside in the sun, the shine armor was definitely a lot more shinier, or yeah, had more shine to it. And then over here on the chemical guys part of the hood, we had a lot more hydrophobic action of the water actually falling off. So, you know, you just, you know, gotta pick your poison. Um, I do like the shine. I'll take shine over the hydrophobic stuff um, any day. You know, there's a lot of different actual products out there. Let me see if we can see. Now uh, you can't really see the actual tape line. I, I can see it off camera, but um, yeah. So there you have it. We have the Shine Armor side compared to the actual Chemical Guy side. I'll show you the, the Shine Armor bottle one more time. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in getting some of the Shine Armor, let me know. The link will be down in the description. Okay, overall, would I recommend this product? No. I am not paid to say this. This was not paid or anything. Yes, I would actually recommend this. I like how small the bottle is. The sprayer felt great. And you know, the spray could have been a little bit more, um, I don't know if you saw when I sprayed the Chemical Guys one, that it was more of a wider range of a blast area. It's kind of a little bit smaller, but overall, I do like the product. I would recommend it. Um, yeah, nice, sleek, slim bottle. I don't know how much um, this bottle will last as far as like how many times can you use it? Uh, how many times you can do your car? I don't know if you have an SUV, you know, but I have a four-door sedan So, you know, I might be able to get the entire car with this one bottle But if you guys are interested in getting some of this, I will have the link down in the description And like I said, I, I yeah, sure. I definitely recommend this product. I'm always big on trying new uh, car care products So if you guys are interested in more car care products, just let me know. I do have quite uh, collection of car de detail and stuff. I have my actual buffer as you can see over there Hundreds and hundreds of microfiber cloths, but I just wanted to give you guys uh, Some actual different content. So if you're interested in you know car cleaning uh, Videos and tutorials and what to do, you know, like I said I do have a buffer. I do compounding polishing um, Buffing paint correction stuff like that. So if you guys would be interested in seeing more content like that just let me know but I am going to give this one a check mark. I'm going to give this one a go. I do like this product. So, like I mentioned, if you guys are interested in this type of content or you're interested in buying some of the Shine Armor for yourself, you know, check it out. The link will be down in the description. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, it is freaking super hot out here. So, I'm going to uh, gonna let the sun go down a little bit, uh, wash my car. I don't, I don't like washing my car in direct sunlight. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to wash and wax it and put it up. So, also, this channel is a lot about me building my car and doing stuff to it. So, if you're interested in watching me modify my car, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Take this rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars, and they all black. Got four bras, and they all that. We call that. Ballin'. Doing this is my calling.